Hey there fellow adult collectors, welcome back. David Eon sitting down in the museum with a box. And this box is a gift box, if you will, or an exchange box that I received from Warren over at Nerdtastic Plastic in Illinois. And Warren, of course, is my son and Nerdtastic Plastic is his business because he is a toy reseller. And if you're in Illinois, check him out. He doesn't have a brick and mortar location, but he's at about every show you can think of. If there's a show going on, Toy Con Toy Show or Wolf's Flea Market or anything like that, he's probably there. Now, I sent him some Mezcos that he did not have, and he has now sent me some Builder figures that I did not have. And we're going to open this up and see what's in here. And I did an unboxing uh, not too long ago with a bunch of Builder figures that he actually dropped off at my house because he was in the neighborhood, if you will, and brought me a box full of Builder figures because I do collect those. I don't collect traditional Marvel Legends, but I do collect these. So we're going to open this up and see it. You'll see it as I see it as we go through the box. That's what I need. More shopping bags, thanks. But we'll go through the box and see what's in here. And there's an arm. And that looks like the arm of Apocalypse, doesn't it? And yes, I guess that's what this is because I'm finding more of Apocalypse here. So it looks like he sent me an Apocalypse. Man, he's gigantic. Where's the rest of them? I know I'm digging through bags here. Oh, there's a leg. I'll put them together. And another leg. And I'm going to assume that's all of the Apocalypse figure. So let's go ahead and assemble him. Like this. Easy enough. And then two arms, right? It doesn't want to go in. Of course I'll have trouble with it. Come on, you want to go. Almost got it. Wow, that's a pain in the butt. <laughs> and then I'll put his uh, hoses in. That one went in a lot easier. This one is just being difficult. Something clicking there. Oh, that's his uh, his upper torso. And then plug, plug the cords in right there, I guess, into the backs of his arms. All right. So that's the first one. Maybe I should bring the box down and carry the pieces up so that you can see them once they're put together. All that noise apocalypse. Are you going to hold still? His balance is a little awkward. Let me move him back. It's a big figure though. Let me see what else is in here. Oh, you're killing me. They're all in pieces. This looks like the terror dog from Ghostbusters build a figure right here so what's the I guess that's supposed to be the is that the front leg the longer one I assume is the front leg and then the shorter one would be the hind legs alright 
not a Marvel or a DC, but a Ghostbusters Build-A-Figure. And there's another Ghostbusters Build-A-Figure that's out too because there's a new Terror Dog. It looks like, oh yep, his mouth is definitely jointed. Okay, that's neat. What else have we got? Okay, this one is not in pieces. This one is assembled. And... What is his name? I cannot remember. <laughs> I cannot remember who this is. Somebody help me out in the comment section. Tell me what this guy's name is. He's got a big hammer. I can just fit that into his hand. Yeah, somebody help me out in the comment section. I don't remember what his name is. I'll put him right there. It's another big figure. These are large. Let's see who else we got here. Okay. The Super Scroll. <laughs> Super Scroll from the Fantastic Four, of course, with his additional accessories. Let me get him to stand up properly. There we go. Because he's got another head, two additional arms, and some flame there is the normal arms and an extra head I think that's complete right set that all right there more plastic dig down in here. Looks like just a couple, couple more. And that is the Abomination, right? An Abomination. I know he's been done a couple of times as Build-A-Figures. I have a Build-A-Figure Abomination, but I do not have this one. Not a very handsome fellow, is he? <laughs> Another very large figure. I'll set him right there. Stand up. He doesn't want to stand. Top heavy. Very top heavy. Which is a common problem with pretty much all modern action figures, actually. And I think there's, a, there's one more in here. Okay. Yeah, you would. Stand up. Hold on. He's got soft ankles. You know, that's part of the problem. Stay. A DC Build-A-Figure. Solomon Grundy. And I don't have very many DC Build-A-Figures. I don't. So that's pretty cool. I <laughs> I think I like this one the best. Out of the uh, out of the group, the Apocalypse is nice, but the, you know, there's a size factor there. But yeah, I really like the Solomon Grundy. Cuz I know they got uh King Shark which I would like to have and then they have um who else did they make? Kemco and Metallo or some other ones, DC, that I would like to get my hands on. But there we are. One, two, three, four, five, six Build-A-Figures from my son Warren from Nerdtastic Plastic. Thank you very much. And I hope you enjoy the Mezco 112s that I sent you. 
that you're enjoying those, that you're getting a kick out of that. And yeah, these are very nice. And I'm going to add these to my build a figure collection. I'm going to have to make a little space. And those are in the other room with the 1 12th and 1 6th scale figures back there. Take a look at that really quick. Just go ahead and leave those there for now and go into the next room. See a lot of uh, LPH's pops there. Some of her wrestling figures and then I got some 6th scales out and some other stuff. A lot of 12th scale. But then up here is the Build-A-Figures. There's my other abomination. I know the lighting's not the best right here. And a few of these you'll recognize from the previous video like that Sugar Man and the Wendigo and Warlock that Warren sent to me previously. Stilt Man. And then those are the DC ones. Those are the DC ones that I have. I've only got five. And the rest of them are all marble. So I'll be finding some space in here because this is primarily where the new stuff is kept. And work them in. So again, thank you very much, Warren. I really appreciate that. And I'm going to find some room. I'll move the Mezcos over a little bit and work them in.